Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to make this a liquid square in Illustrator. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. Step one, let's select the circle. I'm going to select the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it up, also press shift to isolate. I'm going to do it again, press and hold alt, drag it down, also press shift until they're going to have the same distance in between the circles. Now I'm going to select the rectangle, which is here, and I'm going to go to the middle, press and hold alt, and create a thin line that looks something like this. Good. Now I'm going to select these two circles and the long line, press and hold the alt, drag it to the right. Now I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select the bottom two anchor points on the line and drag it up. Also press shift to isolate and drag it into the circle. From here, I'm going to select the circle, press and hold alt, create a new copy. So we have in total six circles. Now I'm going to select this big shape, and I'm going to go to Pathfinder, click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder, which is located here. I'm going to select the secondary shape and Unite it again. And from here, I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool. I'm going to zoom in and select these two anchor points here, press and hold Shift, and also select together these two anchor points and these two and the bottom two anchor points here, which basically connects the circle. And I'm going to do the same thing with these, press and hold shift, don't release it. And from here, all we need to do is track from some of these little circles. And you can see it's going to make it rounded. There you go. Now I'm going to select the rectangle. I'm going to swap it from field to stroke. And I'm going to go to the center here, press and hold shift plus alt, create a rectangle. And I'm going to press and hold shift and I'm going to rotate it once. There we go. And I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down until it's going to match the circle with the rectangle up here. See that? There you go. Now I'm going to select the smaller shape and I'm going to position it here at the center and I'm going to drag it to the right. I also going to press and hold shift to isolate. There you go. And I'm going to do the same thing with the circle that should be here. Now I'm going to select the circle and the smaller shape I'm going to go and select the rectangle tool, press and hold alt and click up here on this anchor point. Click, make sure that you're on the vertical and click on copy, delete the rectangle, select all the shapes, right click group, press and hold shift and rotate it to the right once. And this is how I make this abstract liquid shape in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.